Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're playing Afterburst, a uh, and the Japanese game. So let's jump in and see what we have here, shall we? Wow, we have the slowest gun I have ever seen. Like gravity must not work the same. Do we blow this up? All right, oh, I guess that's it. I guess we avoid the other dude and we blow this thing up. So far, it's meh. But I mean, we, we, we are in just level one, so let's see what we have going on here. Oh, we can blow him up. Cool. All right. All right, so now we got the basic little thingy spinning around. It's like the entire game is so slow, but you jump so fast. It's funny, everything else about this game is absolutely slow. Even that thing moves slow, but you jump like crazy. So it's, it's kind of like a platform puzzler. Kind of? Whoa! Oh, I didn't see that guy up top. Oh, okay. Uh, that. All right, so now we got to wait for this. Now, I have to expect this plane to do something. Alright, is this an uh, enemy or is this a... Uh... Alright, so it blows us up. Alright, it just squishes us. The attacking in this game is so slow. Like, it's like a half an afterthought in half the game. All right, so there's a... Oh, now this thing is shooting. It wasn't shooting before. I just noticed the F up top. I'm guessing that's fuel. So, uh, yeah. I think we're. it's almost like we're on a time limit. I have a feeling if we fall on these, we die. Oh, what's that? So there's some power-ups? Is it even worthwhile trying to do something? Oh, time. Okay, so we get more time. Yep, all right. So I kind of figured the plane was going to do something like that. So, like, I'm trying to, like, inch my way, and it's not doing it. Oh, so I can't even get... All right. All right. We actually have to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, honestly... All right, I get what's going on here. No 
what? Oh, you can power up your firing. All right, so now we got to... All right, under we we ran out of time, so we have to get that we have to get that one one more down. All right, I, I see what we got to do here. This one had time. This one had the time. Pardon me, do you have the time? That might have been a bad idea. Oh, no! Whoa. Maybe not. All right. We got there I mean fair enough a little <laughs> a little more complex you can hold down the firing button and when you do you uh, can actually change the uh, trajectory of your your gun okay fair enough Level one, we don't even get to continue at the, oh, that sucks. This game is not fun enough to want to do the first couple levels again. Like, it is different now that we understand uh, some of the nuances. So you remember that old game in, some of you might remember some of those old games in, uh, in high school? Where you got to uh, play as like, sometimes it was a monkey, sometimes it was tanks, but you actually kind of it was a math game. It was a math game. That's kind of what this game rem That's kind of what this kind of reminds me of a little bit now. I wonder if we could blow this thing up. Just curious. No. All right. Okay, so up and down actually do. But it is like that math game in, that they had in high school and every, and stuff where you actually threw bananas or had the tanks that you had to adjust angle and trajectory so you can hit the other side. And that is kind of what's going on here. Although it doesn't work as well. Like, see, I like, I, sometimes it fires, sometimes it doesn't. Like, it's kind of obnoxious in that aspect. I don't know why sometimes it fires and sometimes it doesn't. Like right now, I'm just trying to screw around. I don't even care. Yeah, see, like the firing is off. Like there's this one spot kind of in the middle where it doesn't work. And that's really obnoxious. <laughs> right over, right over his head. We are so going to run out of time here. Dead. 
So, like, there's a lot going on, but unfortunately, everything that's going on is just really dumb and kind of slow and not overly fun. Like, yeah, you, like, you're almost worse off knowing that you can charge your weapon. Even though you kind of need it in some levels. But, like, normally, like, you might as well just go with the very slow... Steady, like, little arcy. I mean, all in all, it's playable, it's different, it... I don't know if I could really call it unique, in essence, but, like, it really is a little... It is different. Yeah, I was just curious if you died on those. hit the damn thing but yeah there's there's a lot of things that are just kind of really wrong with the game it's really hard for you to like inch yourself forward it's like you just like the firing when you're trying to charge things up like sometimes it does it and the rest of the time it just does nothing better run here So like it, it's it's interesting and everything, but it's also like it, it's so kind of I don't know. I hate to keep using it often, but like it, it's fairly monotonous, and you can't jump like you can't duck. Like that's so stupid. He shoots. And so you go to jump, and as soon as you jump, that one shoots at you, and then you're just like dead. They put you in a spot where you just like die. It's kind of annoying and aggravating. But all in all, like, the game is playable. It is fairly unique. It is somewhat different. But a lot of the things don't actually work. Like I said, like if you saw, like, trying to shoot, like, in that middle range of power, like, it would just do nothing and then you get a little bit more and it will shoot so like there's a dead zone of shooting which is kind of dumb like there's something wrong there like sometimes you're trying to inch over and your guy just doesn't move and then eventually you gotta go and then he just kind of like these giant movements like the game is playable and it can be kind of fun but it's also slightly aggravating and annoying with some of the stuff going on uh, once you get used to like being able to move your gun and, and this whole arcing thing it has it has some interestingness and I'm sure later on it's gonna be a lot more complex the, the one thing that really gets me that makes me just like done with it is the level 5 that really kind of stupid spot that they put you in where you can't like the, the, I'm sure after a little while we figure out the, the exact timing but as it stands there's like no actual way around not dying there like you got two things that are shooting at you at different levels you can't really control too much of what you're doing and it's almost like the platform waits for you to jump before it fires like it did like i was waiting and waiting for it to fire in hopes that i could do it but no it waited until i jumped and then it fired and like you just like it puts you in a spot where you're just boom you're dead 
and it's really obnoxious and I'm sure that there's gonna be even more really cheesy levels like that coming up so all in all decent interesting slightly unique game but with a lot of bugs and a lot of things that just kind of make the game a little more frustrating than fun but definitely like if this was again if you were on the Game Boy while you were playing this I think this could give you a good amount of time having some fun if this is one of the only games you own like I really feel like if there's any other decent games you own this one is going to be in the in, on the back burner until you're done and fed up with everything else and then at the very end you're like well I got nothing else then we'll play this and then you can have some fun but I don't think this would really be a go-to game more so than some of the other ones. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. Till next time, you guys have a great day.